I know we've all been there. You're in bed, enjoying a nice long sleep, pretending you don't have to see anyone's face in the morning, when suddenly you're disturbed by that sound. That's your alarm. Now, you're thinking, ah, oh, it's time for me to go to school. But we know what you're going to do is switch off your alarm and just go back to sleep. Now, you're probably wondering, well, if we all do it, what's the problem then? <laughs> well, I've realized that this is just one example of how we have become lazy and how as we sleep, we're just letting our destiny pass us by. Too often in life, we switch off the alarm of potential and close our eyes to the opportunity that there is in the world we live in today. We're so blinded by our own laziness that we fail to recognize life-changing opportunities that may present itself to us. We live in London, probably one of the most diverse, influential, and historically relevant cities in the entire world. And yet we're still plagued by gang violence, terrorism, social outcasting, poverty, and that's just to name a few. All because we fail to recognize the opportunity that sits there on our doorstep. And unfortunately, it seems like all the people we hear about in the news and all the people we see in the streets happen to be people like us, young people. We, as the future generation, shouldn't succumb to this. We have a duty, an obligation, to advance our society in ways others before us could have only imagined. I look around this room. Do you know what I see? I see a room full of doctors, a room full of lawyers, full of scientists, full of politicians, full of footballers, full of netballers. Anything we dream, we can do. But unfortunately, we let our laziness define who we are or define who we can become. So I urge you, ladies, gentlemen, young men and young women alike, don't sleep on your potential. <laughs>